hello guys welcome back to my channel this is joshua matthew if you are old here thanks i really appreciate your coming back and if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified anytime i upload a new video in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a beautiful church banner using adobe photoshop without any further ado let's get started the first thing now go to your file select new then i'm going to make use of 18 by 8 inches instead of feet i'm going to use this one so that my system will not be slow so if you are going to design a banner make sure that you are using a feet calculate it in feet then you put the number that is good right and i'm going to reduce my resolution to 200 to avoid the system being slow so you can leave your own at 300 depend on the system you are using okay now click on great but also remember if you are going to print it make sure that you change it to cmyk mode not rgb okay now let's get started now the first thing to do now i'm going to import this golden cycle frame then i'm going to scale it out this way then now we import this one then scale it out I will hold hold your control key then while you select the two then apply vertical and then horizontal alignment then i'm going to draw a cycle now draw a perfect cycle while holding down your shift key something like this okay now that we have this one now so the next thing i'm going to do now then I'm going to reduce the size a little like this. Then I'm we import this one like this. Okay. Then duplicate this cycle. Ctrl plus J to duplicate or you drag it over here. Then I will take it up here and hold your Alt key while you reduce the size like this. Okay. then and i'm going to apply this gradient color here so this one you are seeing here though now i have the color here so i'm going to select it automatically without wasting time so this is the color my angle is 90 the scale is 100 the opacity is 100 percent and i'm using normal mode this is the color okay so the next thing now i'm going to do then is to bring my image this image here i'm going to use this one as to show you how i did the image image i'm going to use something like this okay so having done this one now the next thing i'm going to rasterize the image then hold your ctrl key plus shift key then you press u to change the color to black and white and I'm going to copy this color code, which you, you see image color here. Ctrl plus C to copy. Then I'm going to my solid color. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then go to your blending mode. And I'm going to make use of overlay or soft light. Anyone you want to use. Then you select and you reduce your opacity to 36 or 37. Then you cut the image this way. So that is how I made the image. Now I'm going to remove this one since I have the other one which I'm going to use. So I'm going to re remove this one. Alright. Now I'm going to import the image. Then I will reduce the image this way. It's okay. Then the second one is this. Then I will take it over here and I will reduce it this way. Okay, so now that we have this one, the next thing I'm going to draw a rent angle like this. Then I'm going to copy this color code here, footsal rent angle. 
then double click the layer then ctrl plus v to paste then apply your layer mask then select your gradient tool now blend over here something like this okay then before then we are going back to our main background color so on this main background color we are going to make use of gradient color now you select here then go back to your test document and i'm going to copy this color code here then select this one then ctrl plus v to paste then select the second background color then copy your color code then select the color ctrl plus v to paste now click on this opacity then you increase the opacity to 100 percent then something like this then i will increase it this way it's okay like this all right now what i'm going to do again i'm going back to this background color then i'm going to adjust this color like this so that this dark area will come up a little all right then i'll click ok so you can see the dark area come up this way okay now what we are going to do next now is to select our test tool then go back to your test document to copy this one select your test tool then ctrl plus v to paste then position your test at the center apply vertical alignment ctrl plus d to deselect then i'm going to change the color so black then i'm going to select this golden frame here then apply layer mask select your brush then why are we blend this place so that you can see the test there and this test i'm going to make it semi bold so that it won't be that much then I will reduce the size like this is okay all right so having done this one so the next thing I'm going to do then I'm going to select my test tool then come over here to copy this test here ctrl plus c to copy then select your test tool then ctrl plus v to paste and I'm going to increase the size like this then select your test tool then I'm going to make use of black italic okay ensure that this place is thick to make it more bold something like this now I'm going to make use of this background color here then what i will do is to hold my alt key then i will copy this layer style to this place okay now double click on this effect then apply your drop shadow so on my shadow then the distance is six the spread is six and the size is seven then my opacity is 100 percent and my blending mode is multiply okay then I'm going to apply bevel and emboss. So as you can see here, I'm using inner bevel smooth. Then and my depth is 157, while the size is 14. And the cutter I'm using is this one here. All right. Then you click OK. Then it will give you something like this. Now I'm going to duplicate it. Control plus J. Then drag it down this way. Then select your test tool, then Ctrl plus A to alight it. Come over to your test document and I'm going to copy this one. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then you have something like this. Now I'm going to select the two of them. Why are we rotate it this way? Then take it up a little this way. 
and I will increase the size a little bit like this all right okay so having done this way then I think I'm going to bring it down bring it down this way I'll bring it down this way then why I will reduce the size I will reduce the size okay, something like this okay so something like this I'm going I'm going to leave it like this all right so now that you have it this way so the next thing I'm going to do now then I'm going to go back to my background here then come over here then go back to your resource file and I'm going to import this light here then reduce the size and I will position it around here, here. then reduce the size this way all right then change it to screen then you have something like this so the next thing I'm going to do I'm going to apply my layer mask then select my brush and I will brush over here this way okay so the next thing I'm going to duplicate it then I will drag it over to this position then flip it horizontal then something like this okay then go back again to your resource file then i'm going to bring this light here i will position it around here then change it to screen then go to your filter blur gaussian blur then you can make use of this 7.2 or 7 Point zero. So anyone you want to make use of, then you can make use. If you want to increase this, if you want to increase it, then you can increase it to by eight point zero, something like this. Okay. Now I'm going to apply layer mask. Then select brush, and I'm going to brush some part of it like this. Then Ctrl plus J to duplicate it. Why I will drag it over to this position. I'll drag it over to this position like this. Then I will select my brush again. Select the layer mask. Then select your brush. Then why I will brush over the face like this. Then the same thing to the other one. This brush over the face like this okay so i will leave it like this so come back to this one then select the brush you will see a line around here okay now i'm going to select my brush again and i will erase that line over there all right so the next thing now i'm going back again so bring this light then before then then i will take my mouse on top of this text here then go back and bring this light here then i'll position the light on top of this place then change it to screen now i'm going to increase the size then i'll position it around here okay something around here okay now i'm going to apply my layer mask then also select my brush then to clean up the edges here then i will drop it so having done this one so the next one now i'm going to bring this lens flare here then change it to screen I'm going to rotate it this way if you want to increase it then you can increase it if you don't want then you leave it then I will position it around here something like this 
okay then if you want to apply blur then you can blur it to seven percent or eight so anyone you want then you can make use of then i'll make use of seven percent all right so having done this one the next one now i'm going to create a cycle but before then i'm going to import this golden frame here then reduce the size think like this is okay all right now i'm going to create a cycle something like this all right so something like this now the next thing i'm going to do now i'm going to duplicate this one then on this one that i duplicate i'm going to copy this i'm going to copy our gradient overlay column okay let me go to our gradient overlay then i'm going to place this color over here then i will rasterize it all right so having rasterized it this way then i'm going to select our market tool then highlight it this way then delete it ctrl plus d to deselect then you will have something like this all right so this is the outcome of it okay having done this one now so the next thing i'm going to select it this way and i'm going to group it as one ctrl plus g to group it then i'm going to duplicate it ctrl plus j to duplicate then move it like this then ctrl plus j to duplicate okay so here now we have five of it so then i'm going to select it then make sure that it is vertical then centralize like this now i'm going to import my picture on it then the first one i'm going to click on this one and i'm going to import this image here then reduce the size position it over here then create a clipping mask now i'm going to flip it horizontal like this the next one i'm going to click on this one then i will bring this image here reduce the size increase it to fit in then create a clipping mask something like this then select so this is how you will do it one by one Okay, now our image is full, so I'm going to delete one of it, then arrange it properly this way, then to centralize it. Okay, so now the next thing now I'm going to apply their names. then here are the names i'm going to use ctrl plus c to copy then select the test tool 
then go back to your front and I'm going to make use of semi bold. Now I'm going to remove this thickness of the test, then Ctrl plus V to paste and I'm going to break it into two. Then position it over here and I will reduce the font size then something like this then open the character space a little I think 13 is okay all right now I'm going to duplicate this one Control plus J to duplicate then I will select this one here and I will move this one to this one then drag it over here then go back to your test and copy it then alight your test the control plus v to paste now break it into two then select this one all right then go back to your test control plus j to duplicate and i will drag it up here and i will move the test to this position why I will go back to my test document to copy the name Ctrl plus C to copy then select your test tool alight it and Ctrl plus V to paste now break the test and reduce the font size ok the last one then go back to your test here the control plus j to duplicate and you drag the name over here now i'm going to move it here then select your test to highlight it then go back and copy the name control plus c to copy the control plus v to paste now we are going to break the test as we do to order okay so that is it so we are done with the name here the next thing I'm going to do now then I'm going to bring the lights flare again so which is this one I will position it somewhere here then go to your blending mode then change it to screen something around here now apply your layer mask select your brush then while you brush the edges here something like this then go to your filter blur gaussian blur then i will leave it by 7.0 Now I'm going to duplicate it, Ctrl plus J to duplicate it and I'll position this one over here then duplicate it again then I'll leave this one around here then select your layer mask, select your brush and I'm going to brush around here okay now this is what I have here okay so having done this one now then I'm going to group it and this one is the light then we move further date and time ctrl plus c to copy then select your test tool Ctrl plus V to paste then I'm going to make it more thick then make it bold then change the font color to white then I'll position it around here for now okay 
Then I'm going to draw a rent angle here. A rent angle like this. Then I'll apply this color. Okay, then go back to your test. And I'm going to copy this one. Ctrl plus C to copy. Then Y this one. The first thing select your test tool. Then apply super script on this test here. Then Ctrl plus J to duplicate the test. I will drag it up here. And I will move this one over to this position then highlight it then ctrl plus v to paste then i'm going to remove this thickness over here then remove it from board and i'm going to use medium here i will also reduce the font size And I will duplicate this one here, then take it up around here, then apply horizontal alignment to make sure it is center. Then Ctrl plus J to duplicate this one, and I will move it over here. Go back to your test, and I'm going to copy my test here. Then select your test to highlight it. Ctrl plus V to paste. Alright. Then I'm going to select all the tests. Then move it over here. I'm going to duplicate this one here. Okay. Then go back to your test. And I'm going to copy this one. Then Ctrl plus J to duplicate this one. Then move it over here. Ctrl plus V to paste. All right. Then I'm going to group it, Ctrl plus G to group. And here is the date and time. Then apply vertical alignment to centralize it. So the next thing I'm going to do now is the location. Now I'm going to import this icon for location then reduce the size then reduce it this way okay now bring it down now press your ctrl plus u for hue and saturation then you drag this one to this white position to apply white color now select your test tool then go back to your test then ctrl plus c to copy then select your test tool and Ctrl plus V to paste, then reduce. Then I'll position it around here. Okay, now what I will do now, I'm going to select this two, then group it, and this will be my location. Ctrl plus A to alight it, then apply vertical alignment, Ctrl plus D to deselect, to zoom out to see the to see the design. So something like this. This is all about the design. So if there is anything that you would like to know, please kindly shut me up, then I'll make you understand more about it. So for today, that is all about this tutorial thank you so much for following i'm really grateful and i appreciate you all then i also want to tell you that please if you need any of my graphic design template please you can 
make your order through fiber account the link is in the description below and if you want to optimize your video then you can you will also see a link below using tubebody then to optimize your video account then if you want to create a fiber account there is a link below in the description then click on the link then to create your own fiber account thank you so much i really appreciate